Hello everyone, this is Cherry Stone. I really couldn't think of a video idea for this weekend. I don't have any new radios coming in to work on or to have. So, sorry, this is going to be another video of me showing the stuff I already have. Today I'm going to show you my three film projectors. I used to have other film projectors, different film projectors, but they were either... Oh, jeez, they were either broken or just garbage, so they're all gone. So what I think I have is three very nice projectors. So I'm going to show you from the smaller ones to the bigger ones. And no, I don't have any 35mm film projectors. That would take up my entire room. All right, let's start. Yes, it's a Commodore 64. We'll get to it another day. Here is a film projector I just got this weekend, and one I might resell. I got it for 10 bucks. It's a Keystone 8mm film projector from the late 40s, early 50s. I actually found a spare bulb that comes with it. So yeah, this is an 8mm projector. It just does regular 8. It does not do Super 8. Um, and it's not really that fancy either, but it does work, so let me show you. For a projection screen, I'm going to use the <laughs> the um, painted metal back of this Royal, Royal Portable Typewriter. I'll show that also in, in a future video. So, let me show you how to thread this projector. Now, I'm sorry I'm going to be showing sparse si snippets of... Um, of what I, uh, of the film projector actually, what it's showing because, um, a lot of stuff, especially old movies, it's copyrighted under YouTube, so copyright everything, copyright everything, I can't show it. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. So, we're just gonna stick on the reels here. This does not accept full 8mm size reels. We have this, um, just kind of this Castle Films 8mm Sinbad the Sailor. I don't think it's even the real one. It's just a, it's a film. So we're just gonna lining up these reels is actually kind of a pain in the butt. Whatever. So yeah, we're just gonna spool it on with perforations out. We are going to we run it over this roller. This one's a little bit more labor intensive. I think it's an auto thread, but whatever. And then we're gonna pull back our film gate here. Thread it through the gate. Then we are going to put it over the second, um, second tooth arm, and thread it onto our take up. So we are just going to move this to motor and lamp. Just focus that in there. I don't know. It's a standard eight millimeter projector. You're not gonna. This is black and white. I color eight millimeter films. Alright. So yeah, there it is working. And sorry, my camera does automatic everything. The picture is sharp though. Here, let me turn on this light to equalize out the um nothing. It did nothing. This is my second and last eight millimeter projector. And this one is really interesting. It is a Kodak. I think it's from the late 60s, possibly early 70s, I don't know. Um, and it's entirely automatic. Like, it's amazing how automatic this thing is. So, we will plug it in. And does it still work? Yeah, it looks fine. Woo! That's how to focus. Let's focus that down. There we go. So, this is how it threads. Perforations up, you just place the film on the thing. Then you just thread it through here, and you run it. And you're just going to set it to regulate. And there you go. It literally is that instant. It'll shut up in a second. It's locating on the um, bottom. This one's a little um, dimmer, which is all right. This one, a millimeter. No, no, no. This is 
is an Iki SSLO. Sixteen millimeter film projector. Woo! -hoo! This thing's way too big. Let's. I'm gonna have to pull the camera back. This is from the late fifties or early sixties, and it is a sound projector. I do have one sound film, but it's Andy Panda, and I'll probably get copyright policed. So instead, I'm gonna show this newsreel from 1945. So let's thread this thing. This thing's pretty easy to thread. We just take our spool right here. We're just going to get a bit of slack here. We're going to thread it over the tensioner, under here. I use this film in my school's film projector, then my school district says, Oh, that's a liability! So, oh well. And then we just thread onto the take up, like that. Wind it around a few times. And then what I do, just for safety's sake, is I just check it with all the reels. Because this thing will eat your film if you if it's not happy. This thing has a lot of power in it. So I'm just going to make the camera handheld here. So here we go. We're going to move our lever. Ready? Oh, you can see how you kind of, there we go, there we go, there we go. Woo! Ah. This thing's, it does, it's not designed to be focused on something this close. There we go. This film has some considerable damage. Hitler's V2 bomb exposed by allies. Mmm. Yep, first man-made thing to enter space. Let's just put this on so that I don't destroy my camera's sensor here. I'm still gonna, huh? So yeah. Oh god, it smells like a real too. All right, I'm gonna have to clean up this projector. I'm just not clean it up. Just put it away, you know. But I'll see you guys next weekend, or before. I am done with school. It's summertime, kids. I mean, I'm gonna have my continuation on Tuesday, but besides that, we're done. Ah! We are done, everybody. So, if you're in school, congratulations. Hopefully you're done. If you're not, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I'll see you guys next weekend with a new video.